Live from New York, ladies and gentlemen, this evening's broadcast of the Freestyle Family Art Show Extravaganza. It's the Freestyle Freestyle Family. We join our hero on the windswept plains of Nebraska. What's there up in the sky there, Billy? Death below! An earthquake! that 10.2 did you that was a enormous earthquake let's hop in our truck and get on down the road before this place starts to riot no not everyone's as prepared as me I've got stacks of water and all sorts of stuff Take in my truck. It's hot outside, the wind is pushing, but you're driving it. Need more water. Let's stop for water. My air conditioner doesn't seem to be working in the truck no more. I guess it's just roll down your windows and hope the cool breeze keeps us cold enough to make us into the next day. The day got hotter and hotter, and in this land, the earthquake, the tornado, or the alien will be the thing that you would never want to see day like today. Bigger and bigger the swirl came to the plains. A friend from far away across the atmosphere. You know him well. Are we going up to space right now? That's right, Greg. We're going up to space. Oh, man. Let's do it. As we sailed into the night sky, we looked around. Do you think anybody's going to come in and see uh, what they picked up? I don't know. It seems like we've uh, finally landed in the top of this glass dome little chill zone. I don't mind it too much myself here, you know, I've got kind of a nice view down there of, uh, oh look, what is that? Oh, I think that must be Pluto, ha ha ha. Yeah, oh wow, this is kind of a nice little chill zone. Here, Greg, seem like you're relaxing, relaxing. Yeah, I'm pretty happy, right? Yeah. Boy, this is <laughs> this has been a piece of cake so far. But little did they know, our adventurers were just in for their first initial round of tests by the evil aliens that just brought them to outer space. <laughs> and hosers started coming out of the wall with big grappling hooks. <laughs> Tentacles from above, plant-like creations. Prodding and proning. Ah! Oh 
There's only one solution, Greg, we thought to ourselves. What can we do? We've got to do the only thing we know how to do, Let's Greg. Let's what? Let's rock these plants out, little buddy. And that's right, we use the plants in an instrument-like fashion, vibrating and slapping their bodies, rocking in their own rhythms to what the only language they only knew. The only language that they would communicate with. The language of rhythm. The eternal language. Slap the snake, slap the snake. What's happening here? Okay, I'm coming in. They're not listening to us. Hey, no. Slap snake, slap snake, slap snake, slap snake, slap snake. Boom, jackassa. Zumbanjo, zaja, dumbale. Slap a snake, slap a snake.